excited to share with you another large family grocery haul. This time I decided to share with you what we were purchasing for our week's worth of meal planning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to share with you another large family grocery haul. This time I decided to share with you what we were purchasing for our week's worth of meal planning. And don't forget, if you like videos like this, click the subscribe button if you're not already and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a lot. And hit the bell so you never miss when one of my videos drops. All right, so let's get into this haul. I have one more small pickup to do for this haul yet. Um, probably from Sam's Club is where I'm gonna be picking it up. I'm gonna do a little bit of some bulk meat, but part of that meat is going to be for this week's grocery shop. So I've planned out my meals for the week, um, and I'll kind of talk to you about how that works, what some of the things are that we've planned for this week. Um, I have a lot of the items that I need, so you won't see that in this grocery shop, um, but let's get right into this haul. Um, this first part is from Walmart, and then I got a very small haul from Quickstar. So I picked up three gallons of milk from Walmart, and then, um, and right now our price is $1.95 a gallon, so the prices have stayed um, pretty low. We had that one fluctuation, but it seems to have gone down, so that was nice to see. And then I picked up a thing of the vanilla caramel coffee creamer. You guys know I love that. Now this is something new I wanna try. I've been really wanting to quit down, or quit down, cut down on my soda intake. And they had these Clear American, um, they have vitamins, green tea in them, and there's a flavored sparkling water. And these are five calories. There's no fat, there's 10 milligrams of sodium, so it actually ranks at like 0% of your daily value, which is way better than a soda. Um, or pop, as we sometimes say here. Uh, there's no carbo. There's one gram of carbohydrates, one gram of sugar, and then there's no protein. But there's a bunch of vitamins in here, which is awesome. So I thought we'd try these. I picked up a huckleberry flavor, and then I picked up this black raspberry flavor. And same thing. I mean, everything's pretty much the same on these, and only five calories for a whole bottle. So compared to what I would get in a soda. That's way better. And then their dairy section at Walmart was very, very much shopped through. Now, I went, uh, it was probably about seven o'clock, maybe 6.30, 7 o'clock when I went shopping this evening. Um, and their dairy section was just completely picked over. So I was able, these were literally the last two. I wasn't able to get my strawberry banana that I would normally get. That was on my shopping list. Um, for the week, so I just picked up the last two things of the big vanilla. I was going to pick up some of the smaller ones, and they didn't even have those either, so I don't know. I don't know what was going on if dairy is just cleared out, or maybe they're waiting on a shipment. <laughs> I don't know. And then I picked this up. Normally, I get this at Sam's, but I wasn't planning on going there. I think I'm actually going to get some stuff from Sam's yet this week, um, but that's all right. I'll probably pick up another one because I think it's a bit cheaper at Sam's. I think it's only like $4 for a much larger bottle there. And this was like four something for the coffee syrup. Now, mind you, I don't go through a ton of this. It lasts quite a while. Um, and this one was sugar-free in the classic caramel. Now, I've never noticed a difference in the sugar-free to the one that has sugar in it in my coffee. So I'm more than happy to get the sugar-free one because good for my teeth. And then I picked these up for the kids. Um, this is for nights, like sometimes lunches or nights when they're just not wanting to eat what we have. It's one of the things that they can uh, choose from of some of the different items that we have. We'll normally do like grilled cheese or burritos or chicken nuggets, soup, anything like that that they can just grab that we have that's quick and easy that they can make for themselves or is quick for us to throw together for them. Um, if they're not 
into what we're having. Like tonight I made scalloped potatoes and ham and I think there was only one person in the household who just does not like, they actually don't like potatoes at all. So anytime I make a potato dish, <laughs> they're not usually having it. I think there's like one type of potato that they'll eat and it's a cheesy mashed potato. So <laughs> yeah, so that's why I keep stuff like this on hand just so that there's something quick and easy in case there's just something that someone has an aversion to eating. And then, especially in a house of our size, it's very rare that you're going to find eight people that like exactly the same thing or that are all, unless we make tacos, almost everyone in this house, I think everyone will eat tacos. Um, and then I picked up this very medley. Now we'll make smoothie, smoothies with this, but that's not what I picked it up for. It's actually duo purpose. My son and I are going to make a plant salad. Now we did an animal salad and we made it out of a cake. If you haven't seen my Instagram yet, I have a picture of it over there. And I just put out a video recently where we made a cake that looked like an animal salad and he got to learn how to bake a cake and decorate it himself. And um, so now we're doing a plant salad, but this time we're gonna do it in gelatin. And so we're gonna use some fruits and stuff to represent the different things in a plant cell. So that's what I picked these up for because I wanted the blueberries and I figured, well, it can be multi-purpose. We'll use the blueberries for the jello and then the rest can go to smoothies. So, um, and then this, we are actually doing um, homemade Chinese food tomorrow night for dinner. So I picked up some snow peas for that. And then I picked up two things of celery. This is actually mostly for snacking. And then if I do some type of roast or something, I throw celery in a lot of different things, soups, roasts, and then we snack on it. Um, and my husband is on a diet, so this is a nice, healthy snack option for him. Something crunchy, but low calorie, no fat, stuff like that. So, And it's good for the kids too. They'll snack on it, so it's a nice, healthy snack. Um, and this is also a snacking item. I picked up a whole pineapple for snacking this week. And then I am making pork medallions and the recipe calls for, it actually calls for crushed red pepper and I didn't have any so I used this one night and it was delicious and so that's how I make it now. So I needed a pepper for that. And then Walmart had their green peppers and their cucumbers and onions all in this big bin and they weren't refrigerated. Um, all of their single ones like this one and when I went to get them, they were just, they were really mushy and just kind of gross. So I opted for these ones. These were a little bit more expensive, but definitely worth it. They're nice and crisp. These are the organic um, green bell peppers. So I picked up two of those and those will get used. I'll put them on salads and stuff, but I would rather spend a little bit more and get a good piece of produce than be dissatisfied with it. And then I picked up three of the cucumbers and that made it actually really hard because these were in that bin. I didn't see them because when I came um, in, I didn't stop straight at the produce section. I actually went towards the back of the store to get my dairy products and stuff like that. That way I could put the milk on the bottom of my cart, um, put the heavier stuff at the bottom. And so I didn't see this as I was coming in the door. I actually came in the health and beauty section and walked around the store so I spent probably five minutes like searching and I had the mini cucumbers in my cart and I was going to get those because I really like those, but these are a better price. Um, and then I realized they had them in a bin in the middle of the store. So it was actually kind of difficult to find the produce I needed this time. So I don't know. And then I got some green onions. This is for our Chinese night. Um, because I'm gonna make crab meat rangoons and you need these for crab meat rangoons. Um, but my husband also likes to have these on his salads and stuff, so um, he'll eat what I don't use. And then these, of course, are for Chinese night. Now, the only ones I could find were vegan wonton wraps. Um, so I, I've not used these before or this brand, so I'll have to let you know how they turned out um, and if they work just as well. And if they do, yeah, see, these are eggless. Um, so we'll see. I mean, if they work well, then I'll probably buy them again. And then I picked up some more of our drink packets. I just picked up two. The kids had run low on their raspberry lemonade ones that they like. So I picked up two more of those. And then this, of course, is for um, our Chinese night. We're gonna, the fancy white crab meat. I picked up a can of that. 
that's usually about, I don't even know if I'll need all of that. I'll probably freeze some of it and throw it in the freezer for the next time um, once I open this up because I don't usually use the whole thing of crab meat when I make crab meat rangoons. I think I use mm, probably about a third of the can. And then this is for Aspen Science Project. I didn't know um, if he was going to need yellow or green, so we'll eat it either way, it doesn't really matter. I figured probably green for like the chlorophyll, um, but we'll see if that's what it calls for. So either way, he's got this. I went with the pineapple in case we decided to do clear. I have actual like plain gelatin, but I didn't want to have to try to flavor it and stuff. So I figured if we need clear, this will be a good option. And then I have some other flavors of jello if we need to go with that, so. Then for breakfast foods, instead of getting cereal this time, I decided to stock up a little bit of our oatmeal to just do a change. Some of the instant oatmeal to make it nice and easy. I got the 20 packets of maple and brown sugar. And then one of my kids really likes peaches and cream, so I bought a 10 pack of the peaches and cream. So these two boxes were about the same price as one of the large bags of, actually I think it was a bit cheaper than one of the large bags of cereal. So that'll be a nice week's worth. I don't know if they'll eat that every day. I'll probably make some muffin cakes and things like that, but it's a nice option. And we do still have a little bit of cereal left. And then for our Chinese night tomorrow night, I picked up some stir fry rice noodles. I love rice noodles if you've never had them. They are so good. They're a little bit touchy to make, but they're really good. And then this is for my pork medallion night. Um, I got some cheddar. I wanted cheddar and broccoli rice, but they were out of just plain rice. Um, so it's like a pasta and rice blend, but it's it'll work. It's good. I've had it before. And then I actually picked up two packs, but my, my oldest son actually confiscated one um, for the upstairs bathroom. And so we have two bathrooms in the house. So I picked up a thing of dental floss for each bathroom because we were out. And then as a treat for the kids, I picked up some of the Omega pack of the Tangy Fruit Smiles. You guys know I've bought these many times in the past on our shopping hauls. My kids really love them, so I thought it's been a while since I bought them. I'd pick them up again. Um, and then I got, uh, I picked up a three pound thing of cottage cheese and then three pounds of sour cream. We'll go through these really fast in the house. And then I did pick up two uh, two liters of the Dr. Thunder. The kids already confiscated one of these <laughs> and got into it. And then I was completely out of OxyClean. I told you guys I really love the Odor Blaster OxyClean. It smells so good. It makes the laundry smell so fresh. So I picked one of those up. And then this is for our homeschool. I picked this up for my son Braxton. He needed um, a folder because sometimes when I give him assignments, he'll like have them in the front of his binder and they fall out. So I thought this would be a nice way for him to have like the paperwork I give him that's not finished on one side and then the stuff that he's got finished and ready to hand in on the other. So I picked him up a folder. And then this is from Quickstar. I actually picked up a bag of potatoes, but I already used them for our dinner tonight. We did scalp potatoes, cheesy scalp potatoes and ham. Um, and so I had, I don't know, I used most of the bag, not all of it, I still have a few potatoes left. So that was part of my quick star haul. And I had picked up a thing of milk because I knew I wasn't gonna get out to Walmart until after dinner and I'm so glad I did because I ended up needing it for my scalp potatoes and ham because I actually made a batch for our family and then I made a pot for my mom and dad as well. And so I needed the extra milk. Um, and then I got a thing of bananas and then some, three things of white bread. I still have two downstairs, so I'll actually pull the ones I have downstairs up and then I'll put these downstairs so that way it's getting rotated and our bread isn't going bad. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's haul and I will see you in the next video. Bye.